acting competition should be great. You kids have fun. We'll be down there reading. It sure is slim pickings for spots. Hey, look, that one at the end looks good. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Next to George. Welcome to Bill and Bob's Boogie Board Sand Sculpture Competition. <laughs> Today's winner gets this brand new board. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Yay! <laughs> you guys should go to the kitty beach. That boogie board is mine. Maybe George is right. We should forget it. They look like experts. It doesn't matter if we win or not. It'll be fun. Hey, did you see that? It winked at me. Nice work, dude and dudettes. What do you call it? Uh, it's called, uh, the Sandman. Cool. See you all in an hour for judging. Sand sculpting is hard work. Let's grab some lunch. Good sculpture, Fang. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen our Sandman? We left him right here. Afraid not. But don't worry, we're going to reschedule the competition. Gotta give all the teams a chance to rebuild. Maybe he walked away. <laughs> See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Footprints. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Mona, there you are. How was the competition? Not good. We may have a runaway sculpture on our hands. Ouch, I fell asleep in the sun. Looks like I got a little burn. A little burn? He looks like the Lobster King in Attack of the Killer Crustaceans. It's like our Sandman mysteriously disappeared into thin air. I can't believe how much sand we brought back from the beach. It's all over the car and my sandals. Heck, it's even in my hair. <laughs> all that sun and fresh air has made me sleepy. There's sure a lot of sand around. A lot of sand and a missing Sandman. What if the Sandman hitched a ride with us? That could be why his trail stopped at the beach parking lot. Something put all this sand here. If he is here, what does he want? As part of the neighborhood safety program, I wanted to tell you kids about the town improvements going on this week. A new cement will be laid on the road. The park will what? be renovated. Could that assembly have been more boring? I think we were the only ones awake when it finished. I had an unexpected visit from the old Sandman. <gasps> an unexpected visit from who? The Sandman. I've been working double shifts all week. <laughs> More sand. This stuff seems to be everywhere lately. I'm late for patrol. Stay clear of the construction sites. What if the Sandman put him to sleep? The Sandman could have easily snuck up on Officer Howcroft and covered him with his sand. <laughs> and the Sandman could go around sprinkling everyone else in town, too, making them all sleepy. We're going to have to find out a little more about this Sandman. Yeah, 
before he puts the whole town to sleep. I found this legend about the Sandman, Morpheus, the ancient Greek god of sleep. Thousands of years ago, the brash young god abused his powers and put whole cities to sleep. The elder Greek gods turned him into sand and scattered him along the ocean side. So he was destined to live his life in the sand? That's right, until we accidentally put him back together. We've maybe created a monster, a sleep monster. We have to stop this Morpheus the Sandman before he can strike again. Uh, can we do that after dinner? My mom's making pizza. Okay, if you save us a slice, meet me at my house at 6.30. Do you think playing this game is going to work? I hope so. The key is to stay awake. He could strike at any moment. So how are we even going to get close to him? All he has to do is touch us and we're off to dreamland. That's why we'll be wearing these. These sandproof gloves will protect us from his powers. You and I will grab him and then Charlie will run in and suck him up. Um, slight problem. My mom won't let me bore her vacuum. Will a brush and dustpan work? Let's hope. Now here's an aerial map of the town. We'll be coming from the west and then... <gasps> <sighs> oh, no! <laughs> Get away from them, Sandman! I'm warning you! Mona, what are you doing out of bed? Uh, trying to save you from a mischievous sandman who's determined to put the whole town to sleep? Why? But right now I'll just go to bed. <laughs> We've been searching all morning and there's no sign of him. Maybe you scared him off. He's probably just looking for his next victim. Look, a trail! Let's go. By the sandbox. <laughs> Come on, slowpokes. Can't you shovel any faster? Fine, I'll do it myself. Morpheus, or we'll make you into an ant farm. Leave me alone. I'm having fun. That's it. You've left me no choice. Let him have it, Zap Man. Sorry, guys. Gotta run. So much to see and do. I haven't had this much fun in centuries. Look out! Hope this wind doesn't stall the sandblast in its city hall. Where'd he go? He just disappeared. Let's follow the train. Glad you'll be finished this tonight. Could sure use a good sleep. The whole town could. <laughs> We're going in before it's too late. Come on, we've got to borrow some anti-sand gear. Let me help, guys! I'm great with power tools! Oh, for goodness sakes! Not again! <sighs> hey! Gotcha! You've got to stop messing around with our town! Enough is enough! But I never meant any harm! I just want to help people and to make friends! The only problem is everyone keeps falling asleep whenever I touch them! We read about you! You were banished! I've been lying on the beach for years, watching people have a good time. You don't know how lonely it is not to have any friends. Don't worry, Morpheus. I think I know how we can help you. <laughs> Ye 
you can live here and play with the kids all you want. But you'll have to wear the gloves so they won't fall asleep. Well, maybe it's okay one last time. What can I ever do to repay you? Well, I guess we should have expected it, especially with competition like that. It doesn't matter. That is reward enough. After we read the new Count Von Creepsula comic, we'll head over to the comic book convention. Look! Von Creepsula isn't even dressed in his vampire clothes. In the last issue, evil Dr. Nefarious erased his memory. Amnesia. He remembers nothing? And Dr. Nefarious wants to make him his slave. With Von Creepsula's super vampire powers under his control, Dr. Nefarious will be unstoppable. He's already the greatest mind controller and thief in the comic book world. Hey, a brochure for the comic book convention. Did you know there was going to be an appearance by Von Creepsula signing autographs? We, we know. know. It's only going to be an actor, but I'm going to get him to sign my Von Creepsula issue number one. Me too. Wow. Careful back there, Fang. Last one to Mona's is a dirty, rotten, sludgehead alien. It's gone. I lost it. What's gone? My comic book. Fang must have knocked it out. He gets excited in thunderstorms. There it is. Anything funny about that guy up there? No. It's like he appeared out of nowhere. We can't read this until it dries. So let's go check that guy out. Whoa! He looks like Count Von Creepsilla. Excuse me. I don't know where I am. Do you know where the comic book convention is? Ah. Thank you. Oh, brother. He seems confused. Come on. I don't care what your agent told you. You're Von Creepsula, the Vampire King. And you're late. Sorry, Mr. Yuri. I got lost. Now go get into your costume and get to work. We'll sign the contract after. Why am I doing this convention? What am I doing here? I don't even know my name. I'm here for my costume. I'm the actor for the character uh, uh, Von Kuxula. Or uh, uh, Von Kixulu. Or Von <laughs> Creepy Face. Or, uh... It's Von Creepsula, all right. My old arch rival. I think when the comic book got wet in the rain, he escaped from it. If he snaps out of his amnesia in this dimension, there's no telling what he could do. So we're going to have to send him back to his comic book world. But how? Maybe there are some clues inside the comic book. But we can't read it when the pages are all wet. I think I have the technology to restore this comic book back at Zatman's top secret headquarters. All right, the pages are dry. This is where Von Creepsilla escaped from. Water made all the ink run. And Von Creepsilla ran with it. Now, how does Von Creepsilla get his memory back? Hey, look, the second to last page. Of course. He sees 
sees himself in an enchanted mirror, and his real face stares back at him. Check this out. Doesn't Dr. Nefarious remind you of someone? Zapman, boot up the Zap computer. There's a picture in that pamphlet I picked up at the comic book store of that guy, Mr. Yuri. I'm going to give him a mustache and beard. Wow. And I'll put in a gold tooth. Wow, they're twins. The comic book was in the puddle for a while. Dr. Nefarious must have escaped before I saw Von Creepsula escape. So now our problem is twice as bad. I bet Dr. Nefarious has some evil way to take control of him. Didn't Mr. Yuri or Dr. Nefarious say something about getting Von Creepsula to sign a contract? Aha! That's how Dr. Nefarious is going to get power over Von Creepsula. He's going to get him to sign over his soul. We have to get back to the convention to stop Von Creepsula from signing a contract with Dr. Nefarious. Come on! Next! Nice costumes. Has Mr. Yuri given you a coffee break yet? Uh, no. We're here to warn you not to sign any contracts. You see, you're Von Creepsula, and Dr. Nefarious has given you amnesia, and... I want your signature right on the bottom of this contract. Don't sign! He's going to enslave you! He's Dr. Nefarious! I'm with these guys. We actors have to stick together. I'm not signing anything until I at least get a coffee break. You will do as I say whenever I say it. I'm the one in charge. So just sign it. Dr. Nefarious plans to make you his slave forever. Stay out of my way, you meddlers. You'll sign that contract or you'll be sorry. You have until the end of the day. Hey, thanks. You guys are with the actors union, huh? He's overworking me and still hasn't even given me a coffee break. Those are union violations, aren't they? We have to get both of them back into their world. But we'll need Von Creepsula's help. Only a comic book character can willingly enter the comic book dimension. But if we get him out of his amnesia, what's to stop him from turning against us? Yeah, there's a code of ethics among vampires. If we save him from becoming Dr. Nefarious' slave, he'll owe us a favor. Enemies or not. Hiya, Mona. What can I do for you? Well, Big Al, we need a backup memory potion that could rid a comic book vampire of his amnesia. A memory potion, huh? Well, I don't have one for comic book characters, but I do have one for fairy tale characters. I can't guarantee it'll work. We'll take it. Neato, Princess Giant. Look at this. That man, you inked me. I'm stained. Wrong. It's disappearing ink. <laughs> Char, or uh, uh, Zap Man, I've got to ask you to buy that now. There's only three shots in the pen, and you've used one of them. Really? So if the mirror doesn't work, we have the potion, right? That's right. But you guys might have to distract Dr. Nefarious while I explain things to Von Creepsula. Just give me five minutes to talk to that actor. I alone, Von Kripsula, once he signs the contract. And then he'll be my slave! Forever! <laughs> I want you to sign these papers. If you don't, you'll be sorry! Don't trust him, Von Kripsula! Here! Give me the papers! Come and get them! Princess Giant, don't look him in the eyes! Von Kripsula, now do you remember who you are? Maybe Big Al's magic memory potion will help you remember. Abracadabra, Demma Demma Re, give Von Creepsula back his memory. Of course, I am Count Von Creepsula, the greatest vampire ever. And you are Mona the Vampire, my arch rival. We meet again. Uh, I think you misunderstand the situation. I just saved you. You saved me? That's a laugh. <laughs> Remember the vampire's code. 
Dr. Nefarious gave you amnesia and was going to make you his slave. But I saved you. <laughs> it's true. Dr. Nefarious had you working here, acting. And he wasn't even paying you scale. He wasn't even giving me minimum acting union fees? Not even a coffee break. Dr. Nefarious, my other arch nemesis. Now I have even greater contempt for him. And I saved you. So the Vampire's Code says you must now help me. All right. I will repay you. But after that, we're enemies again. It's a deal. Now grab Dr. Nefarious and bring him back into the comic book world. Give me the papers! Yes, Master. Dr. Nefarious, the jig is up! No one can stop Dr. Nefarious! We need to distract him so Von Creepsilla can drag him back. I know! My pen! Hey, Dr. Nefarious! Nice suit! No. You've stained my suit! You've stained my... All right, you fiend. Oh, now we're going back to the comic book world. No! Look, here they are. Back in their world where they belong. Mona, have you seen the comic book promoter, Mr. Yuri? He's been sent back to his comic book world. I think he found out the labor board was looking for him. He wasn't giving his workers coffee breaks or paying them fairly. I better go check the train station. See you kids later. I'm back! I'm... Uh-oh. Good work, Fang. Now we better get home and finish reading that comic book.